yeah. That body's a blessing, girl. I ain't trying to pressure her. No, 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 no. She messed with the temperature, hard work is... Durandal is the renowned sword of Roland, the legendary paladin of Charlemagne in the body of literature matter of France. The sword has been given various provenances. Several of the works of the Matter of France agree that it was forged by Wayland the Smith, who is commonly cited as a maker of weapons in chivalric romances. According to La Chanson de Roland, the sword is brought by an angel of God to Charlemagne, who then gives it to Roland. According to Ludovico Ariosto's Orlando Furioso, it once belonged to Hector of Troy and was given to Roland by Malagidi Morbrus. In the Song of Roland, the sword is said to contain within its golden hilt a tooth of St. Peter, blood of Basil of Caesarea, hair of St. Denis, and a piece of the raiment of Mary, mother of Jesus. And to be the sharpest sword in all existence. Allegedly capable of cutting through giant boulders of stone with a single strike. Roland uses the sword to hold off one hun, red thousand strong Saracen army troops long enough for Charlemagne's army to retreat into France. Roland slayed a vast number of enemies wielding Durendal at the Battle of Roncevaux Pass, he even sued. Heated in slicing off the hand of Saracen King Marsile and decapitated the king's son, Gersailu. Roland later attempted to destroy the sword in battle to prevent it from being captured by the Atta, seeking Saracens and created Roland's breach in the Pyrenees in the process. But Durendal proved indestructible. After being mortally wounded, Roland hid it beneath his body as he lay dying along with the elephant. The horn used to alert Charlemagne before succumbing to his injury. Local folklore claims Durendal still exists, embedded in a cliff wall in Rocamador, Midi Pyrenees, the monks of Rocam. A door claimed that Roland threw the sword rather than hiding it beneath himself, creating a crevice due to its sharpness in the wall. However, the local tourist office now calls the sword a replica of Durendal. The exact location of the authentic sword, or if it even exists today, is unknown. Sorry.